Hi everyone, I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary and this week we are doing our spotlight on a behavior instead of a particular species, but we are doing a basking spotlight with Luma, our Python Regis, who basks practically more than any snake that we have in our snake family. And you were getting to see some images of her over a 24 hour period. And she has a specific routine that she does every day. And it is very unusual to have a day where she doesn't do this. She generally sleeps in that sky hide at night. And as soon as her lights come on in the daytime, she slowly makes her way out of that sky hide and across her enclosure shelf and she goes over to the lights and it's very interesting that she spends a few minutes underneath that jungle dawn led full spectrum lighting and then usually spends a few minutes under her uvb but ultimately ends up under the halogen bulb, which is what actually produces heat. And I still have to figure out a way to sort of bring all of these elements together more closely. I tried to group them all at one end of the enclosure, but as you can see, they're still spread out. And until a lighting company comes up with one magic bulb that can replicate the sun and all of the wavelengths of light and radiation that the sun outputs. This is the best that I've been able to come up with. And she definitely spends time under each one of these lighting and or heat sources. And she does this every day. As I said, it's unusual to have a day where she doesn't do this. And she is, by the way, in a six foot by two foot by two foot enclosure. And this is made by black box cages and you can find them at blackboxcages.com. And that is a permanent shelf that's installed in this particular enclosure, but they do make enclosures with removable shelves. So here you see that Luma on this day, after she spent a little bit of time under the Jungle Dawn full spectrum LED, and after she spent some time directly under the UVB light bar, she's made her way to the halogen bulb and that is what produces the most heat. And she has a rock underneath that as well as a slate. And she also has a hide there. So she doesn't wanna be directly underneath this. She can go in that hide and still be in this warm area of her enclosure. And then sometimes she moves back to one of those other light sources. So she just spends a decent part of her day as opposed to that cooler area of her enclosure and as opposed to sleeping in one of her other hides and she's got many hide choices as you could see. She spends a lot of activity time during the day underneath these light sources and underneath this overhead heat source. If you're wondering what the ambient room temperature is, I keep our house very warm and she is actually residing in an area of the house that's the warmest so she's right inside a sliding glass door and it's on the west side of the house and so after about noon the sun is on this side of the house and it shines through that sliding glass door and her enclosure is in a very warm spot but in addition to that I keep our house at around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So she isn't necessarily having to go into this area of her enclosure for the heat and the warmth because the ambient temperature within her enclosure in the hottest part of the day on the cool end still gets in the upper 70s and sometimes in the low 80s. But she is still seeking to come over here and spend time under these visible lights and under this overhead halogen heat. So I thought I would share this with you. Now let's spotlight one of my other snakes that does quite a bit of basking. This is Din Djarin, one of my Morelia Bradley. The difference here is he doesn't have full spectrum LED lights and it's something that I would like to add to his enclosure.
So maybe I'll do that and maybe in the future we will spotlight him. But until next time, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals.